certain he was going to score there, but somehow the Giants have held him out, and Akers goes! And Akers might just have punched in there! The try is awarded, Andy Akers so sharp around the rook, and it's Salford who get the first score. The Giants move into within 20, played by O'Brien. Edwards, that's a beautiful dummy, lovely offload. Oh, Adam O'Brien was absolutely clobbered. And he might be in a bit of trouble here. And Dan Sargentson was the man who made the tackle. Oh, it's a red card. A red card. So Aiden Caesar steps up, sweeps it through. And the Giants have their first points of the game. And then a tackle, a uh, penalty, should I say. Goes Sofa's way offside again. Will they take the two from here, Earl? I'd have thought so. I think it's a, it's a perfect opportunity to do that. Bang in front with the chance to restore a six point buffer. As half time looms, Steck Patton makes no mistake from there. Side Giants pin pinned on their own line here by that carry. Now Atkin, a kick through for Levesque to chase, and who got there? Who got there? In the end, Jermaine McGilvery might just have dug his side out of trouble. It's a goal line dropout. That was harem scare him again. It was anybody's game, that one. Golding has a little peek to the left of the rook that time. Yates, that Caesar quickens it up nicely. Oh, that's a brilliant line. Back on the inside for Warner! This time it won't be denied. This time, Huddersfield have the score. Beautifully worked down that short side, and Joe Wardle says thanks very much. Back it goes, Chris Atkin rattles that one, and that's a one-point lead for Salford. Thoroughly deserved, smart play there by Salford as they take the lead. Still plenty of time left in this game. With a man down, is squeezing every last drop of energy out here. On the last now, the Giants, Caesar. Latelli, can the dam break now with Kujo? Kujo goes for the line. Oh, oh, no. it on. <laughs> and so Huddersfield come up short again. Wow.